Hey, welcome back to my shop. Well, it's actually a one-car garage. I thought I'd do a quick shop tour and a quick, like, 2017 recap video since everybody's doing that. Uh, thought I'd just quick touch on some of the equipment. I don't have the proper camera for this. Um, I don't have a wide-angle lens, so bear with me. I've done some swooping shops, shots, uh, so I'll patch that in as I can. So we'll start on this end. Managed to upgrade the bandsaw. I used to have a, a Craftsman 12 horse, uh, 12 inch, like one half horsepower. Um, work was throwing this out. I had to fix it and repair it uh, down below. Some of the gearing was bad. Uh, but this is a Jet. It is a uh, oh, I think it's a 16 inch, two horsepower. I run it off of that VFD right there because it is a piece of three phase equipment. Uh, but it'll do high and low speed with a, a shift of this gearbox. It'll do up to a one inch blade, metal and wood cutting all in one unit. Really, really like this. Uh, resawing was not something I could do. Now I can. So if I am resawing anything long, most unless I'm taking a real wide swath of it, I should miss that. And this table is about at the same height as that table so I can keep going all the way through and I'll even have support on that side. If I have a long piece I can open this uh, door and resaw it. Next piece of equipment, drill press. This is a 17 inch DeWalt from uh, I think the 50s, 60s. Work was uh, getting rid of it because they didn't need it anymore. Uh, it runs off a of three phase so we're running it off of this VFD as well. And this is uh, got a great uh, table Raising and lowering, real easy to get to. I like it. Um, I'm not sure about actual practicality of this, as uh, this is, I haven't used uh, this to drill too much, but I think I'll be able to stick anything too long out the side here. Jointer slash planer combo. Got this uh, on Craigslist for 60 bucks. The portion that rolls and does the planing doesn't work, but the jointer does. And uh, she's 12 inches, I believe, wide. And once again, running that off the VFD. And still getting used to the whole workflow of using a joiner. We have a 10-inch radial uh, arm saw, Craftsman. It runs off of 110. And been using that for cross-cutting. My, my wife's uh, grandfather uh, downsized their house and was getting uh, wanted to know if we wanted it. And of course, I can't turn down a tool. So I said yes. We have a homemade dust filtration system. It's uh, got a furnace blower hooked up to it. I really need to find a better spot for this. I don't really like where it is right now. Um, I might turn it and tuck it up sideways in there. Not sure yet. I did. I threw this together real quick, just as a proof of concept, a while back. First, for wood storage, metal storage, and just storage in general, I built this this year. It's essentially. Three of these frames, they use half lap joints, like that, and so you can put your sheet goods in here, and they can be accessed from either side, from that side or this side, uh, and then everything can be pushed in or out for long pieces. I got this top portion for metal scraps, and then wood, hardwoods, things like that. Uh, off bits of metal, smaller pieces go in here, um, still hand saws. Uh, Everything's still kind of fluid. This, the shop's ever-changing. Um, in order to utilize some of the storage up above, I made these shoe box, but I think they're like one quart. Um, they were a buck at Home Depot, and I just made some of these tees on the table saw. Um, essentially, cut it this way, and then cut it that way. From old 2 by 4s I had lying around that were... Parts of it were bad, parts of it were rotting. Uh, and then there's a piece of plywood, three quarter inch, a strip of it. And uh, what you do is you will screw on, you screw these T slots on first from the top, and then you screw into here um, to into your stud uh, to help support it. So I have studs that run this way along my ceiling, so I've screwed up every so often into that stud and that's what holds these up and to get them in and out you just pick them up and slide them out and you have access to everything inside and that's real handy for keeping you know 
Like I have casters, uh, hinges and knobs, uh, belt material, uh, knobs, tape, air fittings, sandpaper, all that good stuff. And then I put some more over here and over here as well. Reason being is when this garage door comes up, it follows along that track and there's a whole bunch of space here that, you know, I have a set, it's about 12 inches or so. So that works out really well. I can heat the shop if I want to, but I don't. Uh, this is my old, this is my old Kennedy tool chest. Just got the various bits and pieces in it. I picked this up for like 20 bucks on a fast track auction website. Uh, just computer, computer's an old one that got thrown out. Um, and got like cheap Windows 7 on it. Um, more storage, more storage. All the hand tools are up here and I have no really good way of storing these other than to put them up there and you pull them out as I need them. Um, this is a new addition. This is the mill. This is a new addition. It's the lathe as well. Both of these were picked up this year. Uh, as well as this was built this year to house it. Um, more containers to house more materials and components. Uh, this is uh, the grandfather's as well. So I found this in a dumpster. What happened was the hose that comes off of the uh, compressor, the, the compressed air side that goes down into here had come loose and the guy threw it out, but uh, it works fine now. Uh, I got a line running up over into the assembly area so I can pull that down and run outside with it for the nail guns. Nail guns are right there, up and out of the way, hopefully out of the dust. Uh, we have our shop vac and cyclone dust collector, uh, clear view, whatever that is. Um, yeah, so shop vac, cyclone dust collector here behind the uh, table saw, which is our major dust uh, culprit in the shop. Uh, I picked this up years ago, but this is just a, a Craftsman 30, 38 spin, I think, what is this? 15 inch, so we can do 15 inches here, and I think it's like three feet or so this way, um, and great for learning wood turning. Uh, all my Bosch 12 volt supply stuff goes just mounted right up there, up out of the way, since I barely do any wood turning. Now that I feel pretty confident that this is this is roughly where I want it, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start putting the lathe tooling up in here. Uh, anything for working on the mill and the lathe will go up on that wall. Uh, before this used to be an assembly area, before I got both of these. There is a huge need for a for redesigning all of this. I think all of this needs to be thought out and a new table made up and put right in here. And I think that would be great. So my particular shop is uh, 25 feet or 7.6 meters by 11.65 feet or 3.55 meters. I got an interior door here and a garage door here and two windows here. So the natural sunlight's nice, uh, especially in the afternoon as it comes streaming in. But uh, so there's the door to the inside. And uh, I don't know if anyone's noticed this or not. These are my crappy shoes. I just pulled the shoelaces out of these and use them as a quick slip on, slip off so I don't track stuff into the house. So there's some uh, additional storage back behind here, uh, just wide enough to get your shoulders through. And it's got all the paint and glues and adhesives in there, along with some other storage uh, in through there. <laughs> Miscellaneous. Uh, all the plastics are kept back in that corner there. Hey, thanks for watching, and enjoy 2018. It's going to be awesome. You're gonna, it's going to be awesome, right? How can it not be?